Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. I'm Chris and today, as you can see, we're going into Aldi to see what new vegan products they might have. It's been a while, so let's go in and see what they got. All right, and the first thing we're gonna see is this World Plant-Based Awards Nacho Flavored Cauliflower Tortilla Chips. And they're grain-free, plant-based, vegan, gluten-free. I love it when they say vegan on them, non-GMO. And they look, they look pretty good, but who knows, it's cauliflower, so. Gluten-free black sesame, brown rice crisps. And these don't say vegan on them, but uh, these ingredients are vegan. It might be because of the cane sugar, and I'm not gonna be uh, a judge of that. You gotta judge on your own. Sugar may or may not be processed through bone char, unless otherwise stated. But if it says organic, you're, you're all good. So you make those decisions on your own. Uh, right here, these are vegan, this uh, chickpea bowl, 329. And then the me the meatballs, I mean, you know, they're, they're, they're all right. Um, bag of these, put them with some spaghetti sauce. And then we have these eggplant fries. Uh, these are, here's the ingredients here. And uh, it does say bioengineered. So these would not be non-GMO, they would be GMO. And then we have these, these say vegan right on them, these earth grown vegan. Just make sure because some, some of them say vegetarian, which aren't vegan, but these ones are all vegan, of course. And that's not a bad price for a whole box of these considering other brands and other companies. So the quinoa crunch burger is not bad. It's more of a earthy kind of, of course we have the earth grown ice cream, the chocolate, vanilla, and mocha. I'll go for the chocolate, 349. Not a bad price compared to other ice creams. Um, they're vegetable pot stickers with dipping sauce. Here are the ingredients. And I say that's a little bit pricey. But if you're looking for pot stickers, Aldi has them. These almond butter filled pretzels. I wonder how these are because the ones at Trader Joe's I really like. And simple ingredients there. Almond butter, got a little bit of oil in it. Then uh, you got these Benton's cookies. Again, may or may not be uh, produced with um, sugar that has been uh, processed through bone char. So that's totally up to you. I did a little bit of research on these uh, a few years ago, different cookies, and uh, most of them were uh, processed with um, sugar that wasn't processed through bone char. So go check out uh, my other Aldi vi videos in the past. We got these coconut cashew crisps, vanilla sea salt caramel, and uh, let's check out these ingredients. Two ninety nine, uh, the cauliflower uh, cheddar flavor crackers and sea salt. Kind of remind me of those Cheez Its that I used to eat when I was little. Taquitos. Uh, these got a lot of ingredients in them, but they all seem to be vegan. Uh, I wouldn't say that they look that healthy, but. They do seem to check out as being vegan. So we'll have uh, $2.99 for those. And then they have a refrigerator full of uh, different uh, plant milks for a pretty decent price compared to other, I, I know oat milks go for four or $5 and this is only $2.59. So if you're on a budget, this is probably a, a good place to go if you're looking for your plant milk, soy milk. Uh, good Belly is a, a pretty good uh, probiotic drink. And of course they have their mozzarella shreds, vegan cheese, earth grown, and their cheddar. So they got two different um, flavors of cheese, vegan cheese that is for $3.59. Also, if you're on a budget, much cheaper than the other. And then I found this dessert hummus. Uh, it's not new. I have uh, had this before years ago, but it was only $1.24. So look at that. And then the tofu. Now tofu has gone up in price, but here it's still down to $1.75, which is the cheapest tofu I've seen anywhere else. Uh, these Thai basil dumplings, I actually got those. They're not bad, $3.99 for a package of those. And then there are uh, pasta sauces. So $1.99, not bad. It's a little cheaper at Wegmans, 99 cents. But here we have some pasta sauce and it is vegan. Green lentil, don't even have to look at the ingredients there if you don't want it because it says vegan right there on the front of the box. 
11 grams of protein, gluten-free, vegan, yellow lentil, organic as well. And the sugar. Now here's exactly what I was talking about. The only reason I'm featuring the sugar is because it says certified vegan by vegan.org. Always trust them. And also bone char free. That's what we're looking for. And it is uh, 477. So it seems like sugar has gone up. I noticed that when I was making my movie. Had to make a lot of fake blood. Hearty vegetable. Uh, yes, there it is. And we also have a Southwest style tomato black bean. Let's check out the ingredients there. Uh, that Delta Lactone is vegan, 389. And then we have more coconut clusters. Now, what is up with all this coconut? I really, I don't like coconut. I like coconut milk for curries and stuff, but I don't like coconut water. I don't like coconut flakes. I don't like coconut candies. Um, there's a lot of coconut uh, uh, products here. So if you do like coconut, there you go. Uh, pumpkin seed hemp seeds, gluten-free. You could probably make these your own. Uh, hemp seeds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds. And uh, there you go. Stevia extract, all organic. And then I found this crunchy peanut butter spread. And it's got flaxseed and chia. And palm oil. Non-GMO. And then this uh, thinly dipped almonds and there's the ingredients it's got some espresso in it so i'm going to pass on these 3.99 and then these pure and simple bars right there on the front it says vegan right there on the top gluten free dairy free of course and then back to these uh gluten free sweet chili brown rice chips crisps to be exact and there's the ingredients. If you need to pause for any duration of this video, go ahead. And that's it. I hope you guys liked the video. That was it for all the, I would say they didn't really have too many new products. I was kind of disappointed in that area, but they have some bargain on, if you're on a budget to shop here and they do have a lot of vegan items. Just yeah, kind of again, disappointed that there wasn't any new vegan items since the last time I was at Aldi, but it's been a while. So I wanted to go see what they had. And that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more of these survive, watch out for zombies, and I'll see you guys next time.